What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another stipulation by Cabalin 1986. I have to really get uh, into the mindset that we might not win these matches because A, I've been doing terribly in this Legacy Cube, and B, they're stipulations, right? So, like, you're not meant to 3 0 them. The stipulation is by Cabalin 1986, and it's called Damn Nature, You Scary. Your picks will have to fit into one of two prerequisites, either nature themed, most likely green but not mandatory, or scary theme, most likely black but not mandatory. Bonus points if those two themes fit a single card. Is the new Garrick any good, by the way, Kappa? This will be fun because it will open up debates as to what you and the chat think qualifies as the scariest or naturiest, judge please, card in the pack. Um, well... This art's actually significantly more scary than it used to be. I think I think Ashiok's probably the scariest card here. Coalition Relic, unfortunately, is neither scary nor naturey. I think it's just I think Ashiok's just terrifyingly scary, right? Garrick is nature. Wow, I like the damn nature you scary kind of slots us into to to green blue black a little bit I guess I'm gonna take that rotting regisaur also just terrifying right this does have nightmare right in the name look at this scary son of a biscuit is Garrick naturey I don't know. It's hard to say. We think he's naturey because it's green. Do green cards are are green cards automatically assumed to be naturey? Because otherwise, I'll just take the dinosaur, I guess. Which I don't even know if it's good. Garrick makes beasts and he untaps lands. I'm gonna take Garrick. That's a that's a naturey card. This dude's in nature. That's naturey AF. Rankle's kind of scary. Never return, also pretty scary. Might be Rankle. I'm gonna take Rankle. Rankle seems scary. This guy's made of wood. You hear that washing machine? Of course you do. Go for the throat's pretty scary. This is a vampire just literally coming at you. I think it's go for the throat. I'm gonna say go for the throat. I think lands are pretty naturey by default, so it's hard to. I'm gonna take this Liliana Dreadhorde General because she seems pretty terrifying. This is a terrifying card. There's dead skeletons in the background. Finhorn Elves is naturey, so I think it does come down to these two. Malicious Affliction is. Eh, it's scary. Eh, it's it's kind of scary. Get that grandpa tree in here. Um, <sighs> all right, I'm going to take, take this dark slick shores. Because we got some blue and some blacks going on here. 
Doomblade's not really that scary. It's just kind of... Deep Forest Hermit. That's woodsy. I think all... You can make an argument for all these green cards being woodsy, I think. Um, there's, this is not actually that nature-y. I think this is pretty nature-y, though. He's walking out onto this tree. Murderous Redcap's kind of scary, but he's also pretty small. Doomblade's only scary if you were that angel. That's a good point, yeah. That's a solid point. Nickel Bowl, this is scary. I'm going to take the search for tomorrow. I think that's nature-y AF. This, this isn't that scary because I don't really know what's happening. Same thing with this guy. You're just a creepy looking vampire. You're in the woods. You're a Garrick. I think this is probably the most nature-y card here. I guess this could be on par with it as well. This has wolves though too, which is also just a part of nature, right? Oh, Living Death came back? Huh. Bloodline Keeper, it's not scary. It's just a vampire, right? And vampires aren't, like... Like, if you see Tom Cruise in an interview with a vampire, you're like, that's not a scary vampire. That's just a dude. This guy's woodsy. I think Living Death is scarier than this is natural, though. I don't think that's the... I don't think that's a prerequisite. I'm gonna take this Reg Regisar, because that was the only card we were thinking about. That was scary in the first pack, so... Oh, Deranged Tournament. That's, uh... Oh, also Never Return was another card I was giving consideration to. So I'm gonna take the Never Return. Because I think it's probably better for our deck. I feel like evaluating nature stuff from our computer chairs and couches is a bit out of our realm. Maybe. Um, yeah, none of these are nature or scary, but this is the, the probably the scariest of the, the options that we have. Yeah, same with this. So... All right, not bad, not bad. You got to accentuate the um, all the idea of all is dust is actually pretty scary. Hmm. Well. I think Massacre Worm is the scariest card in the pack, but I think I want to give it to Hissing Quagmire for being both scary and nature -y at the same time. Oh, a Bayou? Oh, Oko. This is not scary, or It's nature-y, though. I don't know. It's hard to not be biased here, right? Like, I can make an argument for this being super nature-y. I can make an argument for this being super nature-y, for this being... This is literally just dark nature. And this is super nature-y. I don't think this is that nature-y. If we have Oko and Ashiok, we probably can't lose, right? No, we can still lose. Oko isn't scary as of 10.30 Eastern this morning. Also, there's a funny meme that's worth, uh, that's worth bringing up with Oko. Um, because in all fairness, this card is terrifying. Um, Obnixilis is kind of frightening, but I think Sakura Tribeller is just so much more nature-y than this is scary. There's, like, nothing else really nature-y in this pack, so... Or scary, for that matter. Uh, Rampant Growth is, like, the most nature-y thing you can get. Ulamog is probably one of the scariest things you can see. Eh, this is not really in the middle there. You're kind of nature-y. You got a frog here and some trees and stuff. I am gonna... I'm going to take Rampant Growth. It's it's literally growth. Like, it's li literally, like, things growing. Also, scary nature. So, Garrick Relna seems like the, the correct play here. 
Uh, Chupacabra is actually pretty frightening too, though. Inferno Titan? I don't think that's scary. It's just kind of like angry and aggressive. I'm just going to take Chupacabra. Garrick? Other Garrick? How many Garricks can we get? Can we play Garrick Tribal? Do you think the Relentless will come back? Or Yeah. Treetop Village is pretty naturey though. Is this guy scary? This guy's in a forest as well, though. Think which card would make you clench your booty if you saw it. That's actually a good... That's a good criteria. Um... It's hard because, like, Thunder My Hellkite's not scary in a traditional sense. It's not creepy scary. It's just, sca it's just like, intimidating scary. Entomb would probably be the pick here if I had to go with something scary. It's just literally a hand coming out of a grave. This guy's also got some... Pr this guy's pretty terrifying, too, to be fair. Eh, whatever. This pack's rough in terms of scariness. Yeah. Just take Mimic Vet. I mean, this is the creepiest thing, right? Like, I don't even know what's happening in this art. Oh, Mind Shatter came back. Mind Shatter being, as we mentioned, scared out of your mind, I guess. Uh, yeah. That's probably this. Yeah, that's either the scariest. There's nothing really super naturey about this pack, so. Duress, not super scary. Beast Whisperer, like we said, is probably pretty naturey. Like, there's a bunch of naturey stuff going on in this art, so. Um. I'll take the land, actually. I'm not sure if that's... It's, I mean, like, you can make an argument for nature. Like, it's a la I think all lands can actually be argue, argued that they're nature. Naturey, right? Because they're lands. Come on. Uh, same thing with this. Made an argument earlier about that, so I think that's fine. I'm not sure if we're going to play it. You got to accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. I don't think this pack matters. I think Banefire is probably the scariest looking card. Man, yeah, Midnight Reaper is fine. That's another card that's like literally Grim Reaper, so. Not entirely terrible to, <clears throat> to pick up in terms of scariness. What do we got here? Toxic Deluge is pretty frightening. Man, eh, this doesn't look scary. None of the swords look scary. You don't look scary or naturey. You don't look scary. I think it's just Toxic Deluge here. Scary. Worm Coil Engine is terrifying. I don't think we're a Rafello's deck, so even if this was the most naturey card, I don't know if we'd take it. Fallen Shinobi is also very, very scary. It just hap I just happen to like both of these. Um, none of these other cards are scary, though. Like, Worm Coil is just terrifying looking. And this is just like a zombie hanging on a ledge with a friggin' claw hook hand. Um, yeah, all right, I'll take the Shinobi, I guess. Can a dude get some, some lands? You're not scary or naturey. You're probably, you're not really that scary. Nope. No. Nah. No. No. Explorer is probably the closest thing we want. It's to some nature here. Like, even him to Torox, not scary. 
I would definitely take Lelandra Archmage if we weren't stipulating here. So I'm going to take the Explorer because that thing is covered in beautiful nature. Overrun Battlement, also nature-y. I don't know what's scary. Brain Maggots. The art is scary. Yeah, it's creepy. I don't know if it's... I'm not scared of it. I'll take Overgrown Battlement. That's nature. Beautiful nature. Woodland Cemetery? Alright, I'm gonna take land. I wish we took that bayou, but... I think we took something good over it. Oh, Blooming Marsh. Okay. I like Fertile Ground because it does fix. And it ramps. It fixes and it ramps. Yeah, I'll take Fertile Ground. Like... It's literally just nature. It's just beautiful nature. Eh, Hypnotic Spectre is kind of scary. Green Sun Zenith is not. Mind Slaver is not. It is not. Um, I guess it might just be Hypnotic Spectre based on our criteria. This pack is relatively unscary and unnaturey. Buried Alive is pretty scary. I don't think we're going to play it, but it is a frightening thing. Mm, Gary, you're just not creepy looking. Meh. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. I mean, ugh, I'm mostly just defaulting to cards with nature in their art when all else fails. Lotus is... Lotus is nature. I don't think any of these other cards are scary or, or nature-y, so we'll go with the flower. You got to accentuate the positive. I think it's one of these two. I guess we can just play Pack Rat. I don't know if we will. Eh, not scary, not scary. I guess if we had to pick... The, the Spirit's probably the scariest thing here. Eh, this is actually scary. Mm, Parallax Wave is scarier than Smiting Helix there. Okay, so we need three cuts. Two cuts. <sighs> okay. So we're barely splashing blue. Probably want to cut Rotting Registrar, but it's nice to discard creatures. We don't actually have a ton of creatures, though. And cut Living Death. Like, we're not a Living Death deck for sure. I'm not even sure we're a Gilded Lotus deck, actually. Maybe we play Beast Whisper. We only have like 10 creatures, though. I'm not really super high on Beast Whisper, unfortunately. <sighs> oh, you got to accentuate the positive. I tempted to play 18 lands, but I was not, I was definitely not pooping. Deluge could be, could be good, actually. I could see Deluge making the cut here. I'm game for that. Alright, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 1, 2, 3... So this is three, four, five blue sources, which I think is fine. Five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight, five. I like eight, eight, five.
Rock and roll ain't noise pollution. If only I could go to the most magical place on earth. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. It's gonna be like that, huh, Magic? Well. Sure. Solid. Nature. <laughs> oh, Magic the Gathering. Oh, that was a good hit. Guess we'll just pass here. Sammy, have a good night, buddy. That's rude. Hmm. We'll all be. What if I just kill them with this? Well, that's problematic. Hmm. Yes, they did target the enchantment and not the land. Yes, they did. Sometimes you forget Beast within targets literally anything. Oh boy. Well, we do have this guy. Maybe we should mind shut up for one less out of respect. Jesus. One, two, three, four. Sure. I mean, if they attack, I'm definitely blocking with this beast that they gave us. Feels okay. So we're gonna get two lands. Let's 
seems good. Forest for Vilba. Shelba. Okay. How do they only have? Oh, they have. I have nineteen cards. I was like, how do they only have seventeen? They had seventeen a second ago when they were activating this. Yep. Riffling Cloudscape. That's not super impressive. Did you play land? You played an island. Okay. Well, that's that's a, that's annoying. I mean, ideally, it would make you discard five, but then you have Sylvan Library, so it's like cool. Oh, good. So you're gonna bounce my Sanctum. Yep. Treachery, Primeval Titan, and Duplicant. Wow. I have no idea why you played any of these other cards over that. That's insane. I mean, I don't know if it matters when they have Sylvan Library out and they get to draw two cards a turn, but... Oh, Rocks War Monk, you are a, a treasure. Seems good. Sure. No cards in hand, though. That's not bad. Okay. Yep. You. Okay. Pay two. Yes. Kill it. Land. 
All right. Well, their deck looks scary. Unfortunately, we have no creatures that cost three or less in our graveyard. So, you know. Kozilek and Venser. What? They didn't put the Kozilek into play. Huh. Um. Well. That seems incredibly greedy. Higgins, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. I appreciate you. And your wealth of support. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a uh, sorcery, right? Okay. Sure. That's interesting. I mean, are they just going to den protect her and get back? God, I don't even know what. Treachery seems good. Primeval Titan seems good. Fractured Identity seems good. Fractured identity. Seems good. They can't activate this, right? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty funny.
That's it, huh? Okay. Is it Kozlik? Kozy. Oh, it is a Kozlik today. Do, 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 do. Well, we gotta deal with this, unfortunately. Okay. Yep. Oh my god. We're one mana away from casting this, so we die to this. That's amazing. Hmm. Wish I had more ways to deal with artifacts and things. Maybe Mimic Bat's good here. Uh, I mean, a small chance, but... I'm basing on when there was a turn, they could have attacked with, like, Venser into our 2-2 zombie. They chose not to. Right, so they're not big on making risks, taking risks. So. Keep ship done. Oh my god, Case, what's going on, buddy? Congrats on your... On your newfound elk noise freedom. All right. Well. Okay. Well, we do have three blacks. We can just run out of cavalier next turn. They don't have double blue, let alone single blue. So, it's definitely an option. Yeah, actually, I guess that actually might have been decent. But we still have to consider they have ten cards in their hand, you know. Well, Matthew, you can save the Elks, but then you can't just turn people into Elks. Oh, is this going to just be Fractured Identity? No, it's an Issa. Well, that's pretty cool. Land or Elf Land is decent. Free Elf. Free Land. Go for the Throat Your Land. None of these are forests. You actually can only net. No, well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. Cool. Good. Hey, get out of there. Just 
eight. So you can go one, two, three, mimic that. One, two, three, four, five. Sacrifice this to kill this. Uh, yes, I will 100% use it on prime time. No, I won't use it on that dude. And now we're going to come at your face. Oh, get to eat another land. All right. Nope, not going to put a forest under there. I mean, I'm sure they're just going to go fracture identity on Mimic Vat. Yep, ready? It's going to be right underneath that. What? They just tried to cast this with 22 and 29 cards in each... It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Huh. What? Okay. So you actually made this so that I can kill it now? Seven. It's fascinating. What? Oh, because they drew cards first. <sighs> sure. Amazing. I'm able to predict that it's Fractured Identity, but you misplay it because you don't know the number of cards in the deck. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can make them discard all cards, then they just play this next turn. Sure, I guess we're just going to play Nissa. Or attack Nissa, rather. Let's get Quagmire. And... Dark Slick Shores, I guess. Yep. Okay, Forest and Botanical Sanctum. Oh, wow, and this just goes to two here? All right, well... I have 11 lands. <laughs> it's a good amount of lands. Oh, you're going to tap down my mimic vat. That's cool. Make sure you attack me for 10 here. Yep, seems really good. <sighs> you know, at the beginning, I say we should just have fun and not worry about winning, but, like, definitely easier said than done.
It's true. You can't really turn that off. Oh, good. Kozilek. So we block here, we take 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Block these two, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, we're just dead. Cool. Never don't have a random Frost Titan. Way to copy Frost Titan. Way to steal your guy and kill your other guy. Seems good. This hand seems good. Listening to an opponent is basically rolling a d20 to decide the targets for their spells isn't the most fun you can have. I agree. When they try to activate Spell Dog Isle with 22 cards, Shell Dog Isle with 22 cards in your deck, you're just like, really? Really? I'm living in a world where I hope this uh, Toxic Deluge is nice with this main, this basic forest. Alright, well that's a thing I guess. You just choops that thing. Oh what up, Chris? I guess we're gonna go a walk in can we do an explore <laughs> oh I should have I mean theoretically I should have actually played uh I should have used the second green I should have used the blue for it oh all right well that's something I guess Well, we would have been able to play Garrick. Well, maybe not. You don't know if you're going to draw that or not. I feel like we can get more out of this Deluge. I hear you. You know how I hear you? Because you're a loud ass kitty cat, that's why. My dude. Well, now I don't want to play anything because of this Carnage Tyrant, my dude. It is Carnage Tyrant, my dudes. Hmm. 
Hmm. If we play Garrick and make two wolves, the wolves can block these two twos. Um, but there's still going to be a 2-2, two, two, a 1-1, one, one, and another 2-2 two, two that's made from the war boss. So Garrick's going to take 5 and then just die. So I'm pretty sure we actually just Deluge for 2. They draw Carnage Tyrant, and then we get to make them sack it with Liliana. That seems okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 mana. Okay. Yep, there's your boy. One, two, three, and a black, four, five, six. I get the draw. Okay, okay. Black, 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 one, two, three. We do have enough to cast both of these guys or just the Garrick. Fuck me, come on. Cool. Well, I mean, now they're stuck with Raging Ravine, which they can deal four to Ashiok. Then we can make Garrick tokens. I mean, we're not dead, but... Or they just play Avenger of Zendikar. Well, that's fascinating. One, two, three, four, five. All right, well. Guys, I have literally no idea how to win in this Legacy Cube. I feel like I've been pretty decent at cubes in the past, but... This one is kicking my ass for some reason. Wow, they are going face. No blocks. I don't have any creatures in play, so... Wow, another Nissa who shakes the world deck. Cool. Uh, put put it onto the stack. Oh, okay, each player discards a card. Yeah, that's fine. Thrag Tusk. Fascinating. I mean, I'm sure they just have a way to like kill us here. 
so I'm sure they're just going to bane fire us for six or something. Yeah. <sighs> what is even happening, dude? How do they always have it every time? Bane fire. Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the simulation is so fucking real. All right. Um... Like, what is even happening, dude? I don't even think our deck is that bad. Which I keep saying, so maybe I'm just actually terrible at evaluating these decks and cards. Channel Banefire is, <laughs> is a solid online retailer. You'll get caught up in the main fire. Did I get too greedy with the toxic deluge? Should I have played it sooner? I mean, then they just go slam Oracle of Moldai and we have nothing to do about that. Actually, they would have Oracle and Carnage Tyrant and then our Liliana would have gotten more value. I don't know. Alright, let's pass again, and then ideally we'll go Mind Shatter into Liliana, right? What could possibly go wrong? See if we can hit three good ones. Three jolly boys. Banefire, burst lightning, bonfire. Triple B triple red B spells. What are, what's what what is happening? Garrick. Gary. Lightning Bolt Gary. Okay. Bolt Bonfire Burst Bane. Four B spells. Oh, good. Everybody's dead. Oh, that's fun. How do I deal with this? I don't know. I guess I don't. Creature that kills a creature, creature that kills a creature, planeswalker that kills a creature. I'm not going to sit here and not play this, I guess. Even though if they just play any three toughness, three power creature, they can just kill her on the spot. Alright, well they didn't, I guess. How's it going? It's gone better. Not great, Bob!
Okay. Well, now they make a dude and then they crew. That's pretty good. Yep. Goodbye, Liliana. Goodbye, my friend. It's going to say waiting to pay costs. You ready? There it is. There it is. Cool. Solid card. And we still have eight power on board. I'll take it. Oh man, look at that life. See, that's a dude I want to eat. I'm not attacking this time, huh? Okay. They go block, block. They take one, two, three, four, five. They take eight. Yeah, I think they're dead. Say you, say me. Okay, so you take eight. Oh, I didn't want to reveal my hand, but I guess, uh, I guess I get to. I guess I get to reveal my hand. Do 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 do. Keep. That and Tusk is pretty good. I agree with you. Oh, is that a little Gary? Gary! Okay, we're gonna add a black. Use the other green. Explore. Get the green. 
put this into play and then kill the Gary and if we draw a land we can go Liliana make you sack two dudes don't play a creature don't do it I told you not to do it but you didn't do it oh that's good Oh, you did it anyway. Do, 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 ch, ch, ch. Play another one of these. Try and build it. Suspend it. And what do we got? Green, green, green. Black, black. Blue. I don't think we need a second blue for anything. Plus we have two sources of blue. We'll probably just get another swamp because we do want. Thank you! Oh no! House of David! Thank you so much, man. Still waiting for my sub-babby child support from Mike. Yeah, you should probably call the rats, I would imagine. Oh god. Are they just going to five this? That actually seems decent for us. Okay. Well, I'm going to sack this guy and get a swamp. Because now we can just go Liliana and make them sack both of these guys. And they have one card in hand, so. How is Babby formed? Okay, so we're just going to Liliana here. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, my friend. When does Michael Scott sing this song on The Office? Yep, I knew they had a burn spell, but it's still a three for one-ish. Alright, now we're probably going to get a blue source. Maybe. Yeah, it's still black. Just thin this deck out a lot. All right. Well, we have no cards in hand. They have one card in hand. We have a hissing quagmire and hypnotic specter and a lot more lands. So, let's see if that does anything. Oh, good. Well, just got a metamorph. And... Okay. So, well, even playing field. Oh, more even playing. Seems good. Uh oh. All right. Well. Okay, they hit a land. Okay, we're we're in it. Still in it to win it. All right. Never fails. One, two, black, three, four. Get rid of probably bonfire, it seems the scariest. Like if they have something like Eternal Witness, I just want to consider what card is the scariest for them to get back. Garakalon is also pretty good, so. Here comes the boat. Yep, that's terrible. That's just absolutely terrifying. And that's how we lose. That's how we lose this match, because Nyssa, who shakes the world, is an absolutely terribly designed magic card, and uh, should not have been printed. So, you know. Chupacabra. Hmm. Hmm. If we kill this, we put... The oh, this is actually okay. Hold on, hold on, we're doing it.
this gets a metamorph under the vat, which is actually perfect. Copy you, kill you. No. Um, yeah, the problem is this guy dies, so we do have to block it with something, but we also have to attack Nissa with something too, so. So maybe we just take three here? Ugh. Actually, we should have waited, right? Maybe during their turn, do it. Yeah, then we don't have to worry about it. Then we got a free blocker. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Float two. Do nothing. Yeah, we're just going to go to four here. Dead to burst lightning off the top, unfortunately. Can I get something good? It's actually pretty good. I mean, they have no cards, so. Yeah, it's like this. And still no. <sighs> Let's try not to have them top deck bane fire or burst lightning. Okay? No bane fire, no burst lightning. Avenger is not bad. But maybe it's not great either. I don't know. Who knows? Okay, now we're talking. We're stabilizing, I think. Copy troops. Kill this thing. Uh, oh, maybe we put Avenger under this thing. No. Two, three, four, five, six. Garrick. Kill this thing. Still no. Attack Nissa, attack your face. Well, now we gain four and Nissa dies. So I think we're actually safe now. Yeah, I think we're actually in good shape. I think, I think having Metamorph under the... Uh, under the vat is just way stronger. Because it's literally anything, including any of these dudes. Like, the best thing they can play is just not as good as a... as a metamorph. Create some wolves. Oh yeah, the combos, my friends. We get an extra counter on Garrick. We get to have a 4-5 hasty lifelinker. And uh, 
All right, now we are. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna put the mimic vat in here because I think it's actually this is a pretty good mimic vat deck. What did we? I think we'll just play forty one. Okay, nerds, let's finish this up. Wow, that was quick. That's nice. That is nice. I will play first. I'm going to keep it because of this tribe elder. What could go wrong? Famous last words. I would play pack right here, but with a blue land, I don't know, man. Definitely want a second black here. Not really worth risking not hitting a second black. I think we're just going to pass, and if we draw another... If we'll just play Pack Rat next turn. Blue is fine. Well, not... Mm, blue is fine. Red is the, the real culprit. Like, if we go Pack Rat and they just go, like, Burst Lightning, Is It Charm, Electrolyze, Lightning Bolt, Searing Spear. Like, there's so many ways to do it. Okay. Packums, McRadums. Gonna pack them and the Radums. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna pass. Because I'm like, we could do it now, but then, like, if they have, I don't know, anything, really. Then they can kill our guys, but if we do it, like, the end of their turn or something. Plus, if they don't do anything, maybe we just save our land. All the cards in our hand are very, very good right now. If we discard Chupacabra, it does lead us into a position where we can go land, discard both Planeswalkers, have four four fours. At that point, we have to worry about, like, two things in, in this matchup, and one is, like... Okay, that's not one of them. I do think I want to have an extra rat here. You gonna daze me, bro? Oh, snap. So we can just b attack with both, they can block one. And you guys want to do four rats? I mean, Explore is a pretty easy discard. I like when we draw cards that are like, well, I can just discard this. Okay, they didn't do anything? It's fascinating. Absolutely fascinating.
All right. I'll pass to you, my dude. What? Get out of here. I thought you were going to do something sneaky. I guess we could have kept our rat alive. But honestly, I'm a little afraid of this deck. I don't know. I like this. The legacy cube scares me, dude. Instead, we cast that ugly hunter. We got four wolves. That's got to count for something, my dude. Sure. Oh boy. Well, put two cards into the graveyard. They only have five lands, so I'm not super scared of all his dust here. Hmm. Emrakul goes into the graveyard for sure. We just don't put that in your hand. Um. If they f oh they actually flip this though I'll give them shove and tell them through the breach I guess put all this dust in your graveyard too. Whatever. So I have show and through. Ugh. You need to draw a bunch of cards. So yikes for me, dog. Okay. Okay. You look sad. Got him. Through the breach. Kick it! Be quiet! This is a long time they're looking at each other. A uh, mere battle sphere. Is this planeswalker? Uh, player or planeswalker that's attacking. So Garrick's going to take four plus the little, the little bird, birdie boys. One, two to Garrick, and then probably three from this thing. All right, they're tapped out. Can we kill them? Um, sure, Garrick said Garrick dies. Oh, I guess they have they have three treasures. It's not exactly tapped out. Raise a lot of mana. Yep, one down, two down. Show and tell. 
I don't. I'm not going to play anything here. Kozilek. Sure. End turn. Sack that idiot. Two, three. Get rid of an explore. Get rid of an island. Ha! Huh. All right, so they go block rat, block rat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We can put them to one right here. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And they have two blockers. They have one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. They'll have six blockers next turn. Four, five, six. And they have four cards. Ugh. Ugh. One damage shy. Well, whatever. Give them the clamps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Sure, go to one. <laughs> Whatever. We'll see if the rats can get there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four cards. They need to play two blockers. Three if they want to attack with Kozilek. No, we put all, all his dust in Kozilek, or all his dust and Emrakul in the graveyard. They got through the breach and show and tell. Which is evidenced by our chat right here. Give us again, okay. Well, All is dust, sower, force of will, and hell rider. So if they play hell rider, we can go block, block, block. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't care about hell rider, and I don't care about force of will. All is dust has to go, and sower has to go.
We have no cards, so I'm not like Force of Will is a weird thing to get. Also, we could have just given them all as dust Force of Will, and they just have nothing to play here. Even if they go Hellrider, we just block Hellrider and block. Yeah, that's fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, that's worse for us. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Actually, if they attack, they die. <laughs> so, okay, well. They literally have to block everything here, so. And they can't kill all the rats. Twelve, fifteen. Do Meet me all the way. Okay, so we get to keep one rat, and they get to keep. Well, we get to keep all of these, but we only get to keep one of the rats. Wait, this is going to be a 1-1, one, one, so we do want to actually make a rat now. Otherwise it dies. Yep. Because now they're going to be 2-2s two instead. Yep. So, I mean, like, even if they attack us with Hellrider and some other dude, I don't know. They're at 1, we have 6 creatures, we're at 20, I mean... These are all very desperate maneuvers, which I'm okay with. Like, you have to deal with one, two, three, four, four, six creatures. We know you can play one, that's two. I don't know what you could possibly have that's gonna deal with. Even if you, like, you can only bane fire for, two, for one here. Oh, we just win, all right. Pack rat's a hell of a drug. We don't really have anything for that, though, unfortunately. Living Death could be decent, actually. <laughs> Non-artifact creature, huh? Well, you have Hellrider and F Flame Tongue Kavu. Take a deluge, I guess. There's no amount of like. There's no amount of like life I want to pay for like to kill their most relevant creatures, right? All right, if we can get a blue source, this hand is pretty gas. Are we gonna two one with this deck? possible is it likely I don't know is it possible yeah oh rankles decent with fallen shinobi come on blue source don't do me like this don't do me dirty hammering back for one okay you are doing me so dirty Hashtag dislike. We have a botanical sanctum, a dark slick shores, two islands, maybe three islands. One time, one time, one time, one time. Dang it. That's really sad, actually. Can you imagine if we just hit a blue source there? Oko, make a food, make the food a 3 3. Attack. Fallen Shinobi. Who 
Who's Oko? Oko's dead, baby. Oko's dead. Whose elk is this? Oh, uh, let's each player discard. Oh boy, that was a good draw. Can't take it all the way. You think they're gonna hard cast Force of Will here? Probably, it's still a one for one, I accept it. There you go. See, it ain't hard. You just tap the mana and cast a spell. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. What are they doing with their lives? Give me a kiss to build a wrinkle. And my imagination. All right, so this guy's dead. Hmm. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, that's going to be an L. Chris, thank you so much for the, uh, the the Patreon support. Really appreciate it. We're going to do one of these jobbies. Get another green source, I guess. I'm going to hold on to this swamp in case we want to discard it to Pack Rat or Rankle. Or... I guess we don't have to discard it to Rankle, do we? We can just play it. Oh, God. Gifts ungiven again, huh? Hmm. Well, I like how I, I dislike how I type something. You say the same thing. I'm sorry, okay? God. Man, these gifts are ungiven, my dudes. Oh, this this old this old chestnut again, huh? Through the breach and shown to you a sower and emerald, huh? By Avoco. So let's get rid of through the breach and show and tell, and you can just hold on to the emerald. Go 
basketball and it's almost like we're thinking the same thing here, buddy. Don't Or do they just steal our rankle? Well, fuck. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's pretty good. Actually, huh? One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Come on, one time. Treasure map land. So we know they have Emrakul Sower in hand. So they're definitely going to Sower this Fallen Shinobi. Yep, that seems fine. They're just going to attack with Thrun Dynamo, I bet. Wow. It's like I'm calling your plays, my dude. Come on, be your own person, Kenjin. Oh. Well. Okay, well, that's not what we wanted. Let's see if we can find what we want. Yep, you don't actually do shit. So it's going to be a land. Liliana, now we're talking. What do you sack? You sack these two? No, you'd sack these two. You'd sack these two? I don't freaking know. Yeah. Sure. <sighs> Unfortunately, we lose Liliana here, but losing Fallen Shinobi is good. So we still only have Emrakul in hand. Uh, I'm not sure they have any other ways to get that. Nope. You don't do anything. Magma jet to our face. It's interesting. Two on the bottom. Or discard Emrakul. Yeah, we should have actually... Oh, that's interesting. We actually don't get a ton of things back here. But that might be okay. Like, we get Fallen Shadow Midnight Reaper... <clears throat> And I, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, actually, now, okay, now we got a game. That's insane. Wow. Thank you for that. I want to thank you for this. Na, 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 na,
Yeah, I'll keep that. I don't think we want to sacrifice a creature. Uh, do we want to discard a card? Probably not. Yeah, I think we're just done. Oh man, did we do it? Did we just get there? Oh my god, the 2-1 with the damn nature you scary stipulation thank you guys so much for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons you can check me out on patreon.com slash frank laporte it's a great way to donate to the channel one or two dollars a month is a great way to support the content that i put out every day and you can also check out new articles every wednesday at coolstuffinc.com and uh thank you guys for watching manatraders.com is also a great service a subscription service that you can use to borrow physical paper cards or digital on magic online cards and you can 20 percent off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below so be sure to use that and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching